guys happy Monday uh, I think if you're watching this video it means that you've survived your first Monday of fifth grade um, it was a great day it was a busy day um, believe it or not you I'm recording this while you guys are at recess I'm so excited to get into lesson two I am so excited uh, by what I saw today in class you guys have really been impressing me uh, especially considering we're so early in the school year I love to see you guys helping each other I love to see all the on-task behavior uh, love to see the great choices love to see um, you guys getting excited about the powers of 10 today if you have a few minutes um, try to grab one of your parents to show them that power of 10 video that we watched in class um, and talk to your parents about the power of 10. So what we're going to be doing uh, here in lesson two is continuing to work with the place value chart, continuing to uh, further, um, I guess, further explore what happens when we divide numbers by powers of 10, and multiply numbers by powers of 10. You can see me doing this with my hands because you guys know that those digits shift, the decimal place stays where it is always, and then the digits will shift uh, to the left and the right depending on what we're doing to the numbers. So we're going to further that practice tomorrow in class when we're in lesson two. We should be able to move forward uh, with our full math rotations and our math workshops. So that will be great fun. Uh, can't wait. So here goes uh, some practice. Hey kiddos, here we are. We are going to look at a few examples here. Uh, these examples in, oh, let me find a good Monday color. These examples in L2, this is what lesson you should have uh, listed in your notebook, um, along with today's date, which is 9, 10, 18, uh, you guys should have L2, 9, 10, 18 in your notebook. While you watch this, consider which problems you would like to do along with me. Again, remember you are responsible for completing one problem in your notebook, bringing that with the secret word into class tomorrow. Um, I am thinking that these are looking very familiar. The problems in lesson two are going to look very familiar uh, to the problems that we saw in lesson one. We are going to continue to work on uh, exploring, evaluating, considering what happens when we multiply or divide numbers by powers of 10. We talked all about the power of 10 today. We talked about um, the fact that 10 floaty number Floaty number is uh, another word for exponent. 10 floaty number 10, 10 to the 10th uh, power is actually a gigantic number. Using exponents, we can write numbers in a much more compact order. So let's think about what happens when we multiply 14,560 by various powers of 10. We will have available in class our place value chart. Oh, that's about, you guys are coming back for recess. I'm going to pause. I'll continue this video after school. Hey, I'm back. That was funny. <laughs> um, okay, so we are going to look at these three problems. Um, we, as you can see on this portion of our work, we don't have a place value chart, but that does not mean that you um, won't have access to one. Pretty soon you're going to have a place value chart that lives in your heart. Uh, if you need one in a pinch, you can absolutely draw one really, really quickly. And here's how. Draw a line, straight as possible, and then you're just going to draw your columns. This is a super helpful visual that a lot of us might be carrying with us over uh, the span of multiple modules. Um, okay, so on our place value chart, don't forget to um, add your decimal, and that decimal is staying put. We are looking at 14,560. I'm going to make one more column here. 14,000. Hi. Hi, special neighbor. I'm recording our math video. Do you want to say? Oh, hi! hi you it's more special neighbor. <laughs> it's Mrs. Bird, everyone. Hello, everyone. I hope you are all being wonderful mathematicians. Oh, we're in lesson two, and we are having so much fun. That's amazing. Well, good luck with lesson two, mathematicians. Thank you. So we have fourteen thousand five hundred sixty 
on our place value chart, we're going to multiply by 10. When we multiply, we are going to move this away because the number is going to get larger. Each of these digits is going to shift over, wait for it, thank you Kira, each of these digits is going to shift over one column because we're multiplying by 10, just one 10. So our one is going to shift over here our four, I'll do that little shift jump, our four is going to shift one column to the left, our five is going to shift one column to the left, our six is going to shift one column to the left, our zero is going to shift one column to the left. All of our digits have shifted one column to the left, and now what do I have in my ones place? How many ones do I have now? Well, I have zero. That is really important to include uh, a zero in your one's place value because otherwise, if you leave it blank, things could get shifted back um, to our original number. So please make sure that we account for the fact that we now have zero ones after we multiply 14,560 by 10. So 14,560 times 10 is, as it turns out, 100. 45,600. Wow. Awesome. Okay, guys, so now we're going to multiply by 100. Each of these digits, so we still were multiplying 14,560 for parts A, B, and C. Now what we're going to multiply by 100, which means these digits are going to shift over not one column, but two. Because as you know, there are one, two zeros in 100. So I'm just going to add another row to my place value chart. And we are going to, um, we are going to, let's go ahead and use this original 14,560. I will write it in red or kind of, yeah, I guess that's red. So let's look at 14,560. We are, as you guys see, multiplying that in each uh, each section here in two in A, B, and C. So we have 14,560 now times 100. Each of these digits is going to shift to the left because we're multiplying now two spaces. So this one is going to go one, two place values to the left. I'm just going to drop it down here so that we don't get too crowded. Uh, so one was originally in our, sorry, I'm just making sure I have the right number, in our 10 thousands place value. Now it's going to skip over one, two place values to the left. Four is going to skip one, two place values to the left, which will land it right here. Five as well will skip one, two place values to the left which will result in uh, that placement. Six is going to skip one, two place values to the left when we multiply it by 100. Our zero is going to skip one, two place values to the left when we multiply it by 100. So now everything is shifted over. Now we need to ask ourselves, how many tens do we have? Well, it's blank. So the number that represents a blank or nothing is zero. How many ones do we have? Well, we don't have any. So I need to include the fact that we don't have any with that empty zero. We have nothing. So now let's look and see what our final product is. When we multiply 14,560 by 100, our resulting product is 1,456,000 and that's it. The powers of 10, you guys. Look at how the number has grown from 145,600 now to 1,456,000. Okay, guys. Now what we're going to do is multiply by 1,000. So our digits are now not going to move over one, uh, one column. Our digits are not going to shift over two columns. Our digits are now going to shift to the left because we're still multiplying. Our digits are going to shift to the left now three columns because you guys know that there are one, two, three zeros in 1,000. Um, what I'm going to do, you guys, is 
try to erase this as quickly as possible. Um, you're going to see a little bit of my behind the scenes here. Let's try to erase what we did so we have this workspace. Wow, that's a giant eraser, Mrs. Calamaris. Yikes. Kate Buis, please come to the office. Kate Buis, please okay. come to the office. Thank you. So I'm going to grab my pencil again. Thanks for hanging in here with me. Grab my pencil again, and then we need to see what our... Gosh, this fancy new program is very fancy. Okay, so you guys can see that my line is very thick. I don't need that thick of a line anymore. Where is my brush stroke? Um, texture? No. Anyone? Anyone? Um, let's do... Hi, Mrs. Herseth. I'm just finishing um, a math problem. I will be finished in about one minute as soon as I figure out, oh, here we go, how to use my new fancy program. Thanks for your guys' patience. You can see that this is a little complicated. Okay, guys, so now we're going to multiply 14,560 by 1,000. Holy smokes. This is going to be awesome. Very quickly, we're going to draw the place value chart. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Um, sorry, that's a little sloppy. Uh, we're going to insert our decimal. We're going to write the original number on our place value chart. We have 14,560. And we're multiplying by 1,000. So each of these digits, you guys, is going to shift to the left. Ooh, that's not a very pretty color. That's not a very pretty color. How about brown? It's going to shift to the left three spaces. So as you can see, I'm going to have to adjust our place value chart because we don't have enough columns labeled to shift to the left three place values. Let's start with our one. We're going to shift one, two, three place values to the left. So our one will end up there. Four is going to shift one, two, three place values to the left. That's your new home friend. Five is going to shift one, two, three place values to the left. Six, you're next. One, two, three place values to the left. And don't forget our boy zero down here. You're also going to shift one, two, three place values to the left. Now we have these three blank spaces. What number represents a blank space? Well, we don't have any numbers in our hundreds. We don't have any, and by don't have any, we can replace the don't by have, don't have any with a zero. We don't have any tens, and we don't have any ones. So holy coconuts, look at this gigantic number. 14,560 times 1,000. We are looking at 14,000. I'm so sorry. 14,560,000. Wow. We. That was really fun. You guys, I am just going to leave it at that for tonight. Tomorrow in our math workshop, we are going to continue to work on this. Um, that brings me to our secret word. Mrs. Herseth, would you like to tell the fifth graders their secret word for tonight? Oh, I would love This to is say. Mrs. Herseth's favorite thing. Here she goes. Are you guys listening? Are you ready? Your secret word for tonight is... Spain. Ooh. Mrs. Herseth, why is that our secret word? Well, that's our secret word because that is my new favorite country to travel to. And if you come see me anytime, I will tell you all about it and the amazing gelato and paella in oh. Spain. Oh.